are celebrating Arlington. It is Town Day 2022. The festivities are about to start, although there are hundreds of people meandering around the, uh, the main thoroughfare in front of Town Hall. If you can make it down here, uh, that would be great. And stop by, obviously, at ACMI and say hello. In the meantime, if you have to stay home, we have you covered for the next six, six and a half hours. So things are about to get underway. You're looking live now at the main stage where there's going to be a lot of acts going on. And we will be back with live coverage in just a few minutes. Thanks so much for joining us and stay with us. The sponsors, uh, the, the platinum sponsor is Cambridge Savings Bank. Uh, they've been a platinum sponsor since 2002. Uh, the gold sponsor is Leader Bank. The bronze sponsors are American Alarm, American Alarms and Communications. Um, the Arlington Chamber of Commerce, and Arlington Community Media, ACMI. Uh, also, the Arlington Municipal Federal Credit Union, Arlington, I'm sorry, Armstrong Ambulance, Brookline Bank, Gibson Sesame's International Real Estate, The Legacy at Arlington Center, Rush Kent Insurance Agency, Watertown Savings Bank. Food sponsors, Adriana, Adriana's Pizza, Duncan's Monotomy Grill, my colleagues and on the town committee, and of course, my colleague John Hurd, Bob Bose, Kathleen Darcy, Jim Feeney, Jeff Monroe, and Fran Reedy. Also, a special thanks goes to Beth Locke, the director of the Arlington Chamber of Commerce, for redesigning the town day brochure. Finally, we want to thank the Arlington Police Department, Arlington Fire Department, and Public Works. And so, since we never know whether this will be our last town meeting or not, and I'm not saying that we're not planning on doing this again. We very much want to do it again, but it's been three years since we did this because of the events outside of our control. I want to invite my colleague Eric Helmets up to say a few words because he is the epitome of eloquence, and I know he'll have something very nice to say. Epitome of eloquence is a little bit of pressure, but thank you, Len. Len and, and John, my colleagues on the select board, have done more work than I know, more work than any of us will ever know, and I just want to thank them again for really being the spearhead and the coordinator, the orchestra conductors, to lead a really, really hardworking team of town staff and volunteers um, that made this happen. So thank you, guys. That's leadership in action. When I first moved to Arlington, one of the first things I did was come to Town Day. It is a wonderful celebration of community, of engagement, of getting involved with our local businesses, our nonprofits, our town services. And it's wonderful to be back. There are over 200 booths that will help you plug in, get involved, find a place to be part of your community. Please do that. Please enjoy some great food. Have a great time today. And I see that Mr. Hurd has made it, so I have vamped long enough. Well, I just ran here from the Russell parking lot. I came from a hockey game in Revere, so you have to give me a second to catch my breath. But I anticipate coming up and doing the thank yous, but I do want to just make sure I thank Mr. Len Diggins here. About six months ago, we got together with Kathy Darcy, Bob Bowes, and we had an idea that we were committed that we were going to have Town Day this year. And everyone told us, a lot of people said to us, you have no idea how much work it is. And they were right. <laughs> this was, I couldn't imagine how much, how much work goes into Town Day year after year. I've been coming to Town Day since I was three years old and never knew what it took to put on such an incredible event. I don't know if Len mentioned, but Kathleen Darcy from Cambridge Savings Bank, this is her 25th town day that she's worked on. And she told me the other day that she has 25 more in her. But it really has been an unbelievable effort by so many people. I was out here this morning at 510, thinking I was the first person out here ready to, to get town day going. And Jim Feeney and Dan Warren from the DPW had already painted 50 spots just by themselves. 
So, again, there was, I'm sure Len already went through the individuals that were involved in this process, but this is an event that I've looked forward to every year of my life from when I was my son's age, right in front of me here. And we're so glad that we're able to put it back together because it was really a loss for the town in the past couple of years. It was a loss for the residents, town staff, and more importantly, a loss for the Arlington businesses that have struggled so much over the past couple of years during the pandemic. So this is really a day for everyone to get back out. We have fireworks tonight at dusk. Go to town day, go to the beer garden, eat at all of our many, many local restaurants, and then come watch the fireworks. Again, we're so happy to be able to put this event on again and next year and the year after. And now we know what we're in for, so we can start, we're going to start our next town day committee meeting next week so we have a little lead time on it. So thank you. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the weather. And one more thing, because we want to express very special appreciation to, as John mentioned, Kathleen Darcy, who has been doing this for 25 years. So Kathleen, I'm going to put you on the spot and ask you to come up here, please. So Kathleen, I want you to pretend that I have a Shop Arlington First bag in my hand because it's in the select board's office and I can't get in. And, uh, and, and inside of that is a Shop Arlington First gift certificate for $250 because wow. the, with the work that Kathleen puts in, I mean, the, she really deserves $250,000 because uh, she easily puts in $1,000 worth of labor into this meet, and, and that's really an underestimate. But we just want to show you me, our appreciation in a token manner, and we're going to do the same for Fran Reedy, Fran Reedy um, a, member, a former member of the select board staff who's been doing this for 15 years, because as I said, me, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. We want to do this again, but always take an opportunity to really express your appreciation to someone when you have a chance. So Kathleen, I, mean, um, I met you when I was working with ACMI, volunteering with ACMI, and was courting the Women's Networking Breakfast for the Arlington Chamber of Commerce. And it was already apparent then that Kathleen is a force of nature, but in the best possible way. You know? So, so I, and, and whenever you work on something, like this, you really bond with people, uh, and, and you may butt heads from now and, and then, but I don't think we really butted heads because, well, if Kathleen says do it some way, you just got to do it that way. But anyways, Kathleen, we, can you say a few words? You know? uh, yeah. <laughs> the advantages of being short. Thank you, Len, very much, and thank you, John. Um, I really appreciate your kind words. I, yeah, it is a lot of work, but you know what? When everybody gets here today, it's all well worth it. Um, I want to thank Cambridge Savings Bank again because they've just been the platinum sponsor for so long, and they're really committed to the community. So I hope you stop by our booth and say hi to our folks. And I want, wish you all a fabulous day. The weather's perfect, and I'm so happy it's here. Thank you again. And finally, we're going to end with a haiku because that's what I do. Arlington loves you. Celebrate. You belong here. Town Day starts right now. <laughs>
uh, and I'm back here because I love my hometown, and I have some announcements for you, including if you'd like an announcement made from center stage, please stop by and give me your announcement, and I'll do it. It'll go on television and, of course, here on our speakers. Welcome to Arlington Town Day. We have an exciting day planned for you. Here at center stage, we have great entertainment all day. Music, art, wonderful things. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club, the Fidelity House, and Arlington Rec will have fun activities for your kids in the Citizens' Parking Lot. That's right over there. Uh, Spengler Way will have Officer Hogan and Ico along with Arlington Fire Smokehouse. And we have Pony Rides sponsored by Gibson Sotheby's, and that will take place in front of the Robbins Whittemore Library. So if you want to ride a pony, come on down. Uh, visit the Candy House uh, for your sweet tooth. We have candy here. I'm sure all the parents are going to love that. And, uh, and, and we do have over 200 booths here on Mass Ave. Fantastic. We're going to provide a variety of products and services for you. So we hope you come down and, and walk Mass Ave and have some fun. Uh, Robbins Library, they will be hosting their annual book sale. So if you want books cheap, come on down to Robbins. Uh, new this year, we have the Plein Air Tent located in the garden. Uh, three artists will be creating pictures throughout the day. So there's a garden over here. Please walk through. And uh, the beer garden is taking place at the Jason Russell House. Two words you say to me and I come a-running. Beer garden. That's it. I want to thank today's sponsors. Okay, here we go. Our platinum sponsor, Cambridge Savings Bank. They've been a platinum sponsor since 2002, helping this event to always be here. Let's hear it for Cambridge Savings Bank. How about that? Also, we have another gold sponsor. It's Leader Bank. Let's hear it for Leader. And our bronze sponsors, here they are. American Alarms and Communications, Arlington Chamber of Commerce, Arlington Community Media, Arlington Municipal Federal Credit Union, Armstrong Ambulance, Brookline Bank, Gibson Sotheby's International Real Estate, The Legacy at Arlington Center, Rush Kent Insurance Agency, and Watertown Savings Bank. Let's hear it for all the sponsors. If I had sponsors, I'd probably still have a show. And today's food sponsors, we have Andrina's Pizza, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, now known as Just Dunkin', and uh, Monotomy Grill, and Town Tavern. Our Town Day committee is Len Diggins, John Hearn, Bob Bowes, Kathleen Darcy, Jim Feeney, Jeff Manro Monroe, and Fran Reedy. Now, Jeff, who works down at ACMI, uh, they put on this wonderful event on television, so those of you watching from home, you get to see all the festivities. And uh, hi, Mom. I'm glad you're watching. You better be watching. Uh, special thanks to Beth Locke, uh, director of the Arlington Chamber for redesigning the TD brochure. And thanks to the Arlington Police Department, the Arlington Fire Department, and Public Works. Let's hear it for them, everybody. Now, we have some wonderful things happening here at Center Stage, and I do have to make this announcement that we have our Pop Warner cheerleaders coming up next, so we need them to get up here behind the stage. This is where all the excitement happens. Uh, so if we can have the Pop Warner cheerleaders come up here behind the stage to get ready and get their coach out front, we can begin this. And we thank you for coming out to Arlington Town Day and for watching it on TV. I'm Steve Katz. So it's just a few seconds from now, the cheerleaders, and you can really be happy. Hello and welcome to Arlington Town Day 2022. This is live coverage from ACMI. I'm your host, Paul Whirlin, along here with News Director Jeff Barn. We are so excited to be here today. This is the first time we have had Town Day in three years since the pandemic, since 2019. It's a beautiful day today. There's already a lot of people here on Mass Ave, so we invite you to come right, on ladies down and, gentlemen, and join it's us in the festival. The moment you've been yeah, we had a, a, already we had the opening ceremony. We had the flag raising by uh, Jeff Chunglow, the Director of Veterans Services. We had a select board welcome by Len Diggins, and already we have things going on at the center stage, so let's toss it back and we'll talk to you later.
Let's have another round of applause for those fantastic Pop Warner cheerleaders. That was awesome. All right, our next group, here they are. It's the Arlington High School Varsity Cheerleaders. Come on up, guys. All right, everybody, let's hear it for those varsity cheerleaders from Arlington High School. Those cheerleaders always get so many, so much applause. I just kind of want to have them perform all day. What do you guys think? Huh? All right, well, listen, our next act coming up here at center stage is going to be at 1030. We have some time here. It's going to be Lynn and Jen's Dance Studio. I'll also give you the rest of the schedule for today. At 11 o'clock, we have Hero Art with Rob Surrett. At noontime, we have the AHS Jazz Band and Madrigal Singers together. At 1 o'clock, we have Stanley and the Undercovers. And at 2 o'clock, come on down here to Mass Ave Center Stage and see Air Traffic Controller. All right, everybody, we'll be back in a few moments. Thanks for joining us here at Arlington Down Day. Let's hear it for those cheerleaders. And welcome back to our live coverage of Town Day 2022 for ACMI. Welcome back. Thanks so much. We're glad you could join us today. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm here with my colleague, Paul Worlin, who anchors frequently the ACMI newscast. And I'm Jeff Barn, the ACMI news director. Thanks again for being with us. If you can come down, please come down and uh, say hi to us. Stop by our booth and just say hello. Uh, we have uh, been pretty much on the air now for a little bit over an hour. We had the flag raising by uh, Director of Veteran Services, Jeff Chung Lo. Uh, we had the, uh, the Star Spangled Banner, Paul, by the, one of the Madrigal singers from AHS. and was absolutely gorgeous. She was wonderful, yeah. And we had the, uh, the town uh, select board uh, make their opening speech and welcome us, which was wonderful. And uh, Mass Ave here is closed today between Jason Street and Pleasant. Pleasant Street. And town day is going on today from 9 o'clock a.m., which obviously has already started, until 3 o'clock this afternoon. It is an absolutely beautiful day. You couldn't ask for better no, weather. You couldn't. Everybody is so happy to be at town day again after being closed for over two years, so please come on down and join us. There's already a bunch of people walking down Mass Ave. We've got booths, we have food, we have games for the kids, we have things for the adults. It's a great, great day, so we hope to see you down here. Absolutely. We, uh, I'm looking at the Citizens Bank uh, clock right now, and it is 63 degrees, no wind, sunshiny day. It is absolutely gorgeous. It was uh, made to be like this. Now, you just saw the uh, Pop Warner cheerleaders at the main stage in front of Town Hall. We will be having Lynn and Jen's dance studio coming up in just a few minutes. Steve Katzos from the Steve Katzos Show at ACMI uh, led things off. He's the master of ceremonies. And uh, it's Paul, it's good to see Steve getting out of his shell. You know what I mean? He's, <laughs> he's so introverted. And it's just good to see him just open up yes. on Town Day 2022. <laughs> The main stage, what Jeff is talking about, anything that's happening, the cheerleaders, Steve Katzos, we have bands. The main stage is right in front of Town Hall. You cannot miss it. So if you're on Mass Ave, just go to Town Hall. The main stage is right there. We're having things going on there all day long for your entertainment, your enjoyment. Come on down and join us. We want to thank a few people. Um, a couple things, that, you know, there's going to be food here donated. Uh, we really would like to thank Whole Foods and Trader Joe's uh, for their food donations. 
Uh, we'd like to thank the selectmen for the select board for for all their hard work that they do here. Um, we, and our volunteers. This is a volunteer run uh, day today. There's so many volunteers that are that are here that have put this whole thing together. Not to mention our ACMI volunteers who have. Uh, put this together and are putting this together so we can bring you live coverage right here from from uh, the corner of Academy Street in Mass Ave. If you do come to Town Day, you'd like to find out more about ACMI because we are a volunteer-run organization. The news is something that you can actually participate in if you'd like to volunteer for... I do. You, you <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been a volunteer since 2012. I've been doing this for 10 years. I absolutely love it. If you've ever thought about being a citizen journalist, either in front of the camera or behind the camera, now's your chance. Come on down and talk to us. Again, we have a booth at the corner of Mass Ave and Academy Street. Come on down and talk to us, and we'd be glad to talk to you about it. We also have an open house coming up, right? Yeah, we have an open house coming up right after our newscast on Thursday, September the 22nd, from uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you can get there earlier at ACMI at 85 Park, uh, you can actually see the newscast being put together. But, uh, Paul, you were mentioning the fact that we have a lot of volunteers. We also have some interns from uh, colleges from all over the region and some really far away. And these people, it's great to it's great to work at ACMI because you get to see people walking in the door and they want to learn things. And the best place to learn if you want to be in broadcasting or be a programmer or a, a photographer or get into news is ACMI. The people there are absolutely fantastic. I used to be in front of the camera uh, for years and I went to ACMI and they said you have to uh, uh, shoot your own stuff, uh, be a photographer and editor. And it was very intimidating. They have all the patience in the world, and everybody goes at their own pace, and they're great. And now it's fun. Now it's like it's like an art form. But beyond that, to have the interns coming in uh, just to get some credit, and then you see them uh, take that and just run with it in their career. Uh, we have interns who are now reporters and anchors in Bangor, Maine, in Rhode San, Island. San Diego. In San Diego, California. These, pe uh, these people were interns just two, three years ago, right, Paul? Yeah, yeah. So it's just great to see these people just grow, and, um, and they call us. They keep in touch with us. So we'd love to have you just come down. Whatever you want to do, uh, this is the place to, to learn and to get out of your comfort zone. And we certainly would you just come down here, just say hi, or just give us a call. Either way. Uh, we are going to take it back to the main stage now where um, we have a Speed Portrait by artist Rob Surrett, innovative and creative, amazing Hero Art. And we'll be right back in a few minutes. See you soon.
Go change that beat up. Here we go. everybody well it's time for some more fun here at center stage and we have some fantastic dancing coming for you but i'd like to reintroduce one of arlington's selectmen please put your hands together for john hurd hi again welcome everybody the weather's still beautiful i just wanted to come up to interview drew the first group that we have here to come dance on stage, Lynn and Jen's Dance Studio on Broadway, and on Warren Street in Arlington. They're very good family friends of ours. They're incredible people. They've been in business for 24 years in Arlington, born and raised here. So give it a hand for Lynn and Jen's. There was some talk initially about me joining them on stage, but luckily the practice conflicted with hockey practice, so you won't have to see this. But you are in for a treat. They are an incredible studio, and I can't wait to see what they have for us. Thank you. Oh ma douce souffrance, pourquoi s'acharner tu recommences Je ne suis qu'un être sans importance, sans lui je suis un peu par où Je déambule seul dans le métro, une dernière danse Pour oublier ma peine immense, je veux m'enfuir que tout recommence
We do have some more dances, so please don't leave. We just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everybody that plays a part in pulling Town Day together and asking us to be here today. It's such an honor, especially this year, having Town Day back finally and the community coming together and celebrating each other. So thank you for being here today. Please clap loudly. loudly. The kids are honored to be here as we are. Club case, something jumps jump off. off. You back up for the high, but the pump off. off. In the graveyard is where you get stumped off. All we wanna do is party Woo! and buy everybody at the bar card. Huh? Black Barbie dressed in Bagari. Uh, I'm trying to leave in somebody's Ferrari. <laughs> Go make me act up. 
This is how you be remembered. How you stood up to the storm. Like the lonely light from an ember. Still somehow keeps you warm. Like the soft Lays their hand upon the stone. Well, there's a bright world beyond the dark door, and it's like nothing that we've seen before. This is our.
Hey, let's hear it for Lynn and Jen's dance studio. How about that? We have some awesome stuff coming up here at center stage, but I want to take a great photo for the newspaper. Cheerleaders, can you guys come right out here in the front? And the dance studio, come right out here. I want you guys to turn around and get back into the audience. So go back into the audience and turn around. I'm going to take a selfie of everybody, performers and audience. Bear with me. Here we go. I got to. All right. On the count of three, I want everybody to just cheer because I'm going to take a couple photos. Here we go. One, two, three. Keep going. One more time. Here we go. Okay, that was exciting. So glad to have cheerleaders, dancers, performers today. UCMI and can you say your name? Sure, my name is Amy McElroy and I'm part of the Friends of Robbins Library group. Oh, so cool. Is this your first town day? How many town days have you guys been here? Gosh, we've been here at least 20 town days and our tradition is to put on this terrific sale that you see behind us. Um, we have lots of donations all from Arlington residents. We collect for about three weeks and then we have a ton of volunteers come to sort and organize the books and today we're having our big sale. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a bit about what the library does during normal hours of the year? Sure. Um, the, there, we have two beautiful libraries in Arlington. The Robbins Library, we're behind the Robbins today for our book sale, and then there's a library, a branch library in the east called the Fox, both terrific libraries. And our group, the Friends, raises money for both libraries. Um, and we have a lot of avid readers in Arlington, and the Friends group periodically has book sales, big book sales, and then actually we have an ongoing sale Every day, the library is open up on the fourth floor. So, yeah, we um, appreciate the chance to raise money for the Arlington libraries by having our book sale. Very nice. Are you expecting to see a lot of people come out this town day? Yes, we're already off to a great start, and um, we've had a lot of um, teens and adults volunteer to bring all the books outside, which has been great, and we already have a brisk crowd coming to buy. So we'll be here until three o'clock today and if we have any books left over we'll be back tomorrow afternoon from two to five. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Have a good town day. Hi, I'm Angela Christiana. Uh, I'm with Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America and I'm here at the Arlington Town Day at our booth which is great to be at after a three-year hiatus of Town Day. Um, we are the largest gun violence prevention organization in the country. Uh, we are mothers and others. You don't have to be a mom. Um, you, you can come from any walk of life uh, if you just have a burning desire to end gun violence in America. So the way we do that is through advocacy and education. So we work for stronger, sensible gun laws in our country. And we also educate parents, gun owners, anybody who might be impacted by gun violence uh, about how guns should be safely stored. In fact, here in Arlington this year, our school board, our, our school uh, committee took up the issue and agreed that uh, they would inform parents about safe storage laws in Massachusetts so that our children won't be impacted by unintentional shootings, uh, which is really important. 90% um, of uh, violence that happens in school with guns, the gun was attained at the person's home. So it's extremely important that safe storage uh, is, is really uh, an important issue. Um, so in addition to that, we do work on laws nationally at the state level and locally. Um, but it's all about 
keeping people safe. It's, it's, uh, we respect the Second Amendment. Um, we just want to keep people safe from gun violence. Gun violence is an epidemic in this country. It's completely unnecessary. It's the number one cause of death for children and teens in America, and it's 100% preventable. So come on out to Town Day. We hope you'll stop by our booth. Uh, we're hosting our first Arlington meeting on Tuesday, September 27th at the Fox Library at 7 p.m. We welcome everyone. I'm Bob Sprague, editor and founder of Your Arlington. And I'm here at Town Day because we need the public's help to keep local journalism alive. That is through donations. And you can go to the site uh, at the donation button in the upper right. But your monetary support is only part of it. We need you to tell us what stories you'd like us to report, and we'll follow up on any tips. We're focused on Arlington. We want to keep Arlington News alive. So how is it seeing residents come together in the celebration of the town, especially after three years hiatus? Indeed, I, I missed it. Uh, this is the fourth town day that your Arlington has participated in, and we didn't, we've enjoyed it every time, and I have missed town day. Uh, seeing the people, people I know, people I don't know. And I'm always glad to learn something new, and the public brings it to me every time. Look for us online at www.yourarlington.com. And thanks, everyone, for their support. I'm Charlotte Pierce. I'm on the board of the Independent Publishers of New England, and I've been on a member of the organization for about 15 years. Um, we support independent publishers and small publishers um, with educational programs, cooperative exhibits. So we have here four authors that are signing and selling books, and then we're also um, telling people about the organization. Um, we have mostly in the fall, we have a lot of book shows, cooperative exhibits starting with this one, then we're going to the Booksellers Convention and the Library Association and the Boston Book Festival with books uh, published and written by our members. Hi, I'm Jack Rochester, Jack B. Rochester on the front of my books, and I'm a member of IPNE and have been for about 12 years and enjoy my membership with IPNE very much and being able to come to events like we have today and share my books with, uh, the, with a larger audience, which is really a lot of fun. Talking about books is as much fun as reading and writing them, as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is one of my novels uh, from a few years ago, which won the IPNE Best Literary Fiction Award of 2016. I think that was it. Yeah. That was it, yeah. And I have a new book out called Bridge Across the Ocean, which is a story of three MIT graduates who start a bicycling company. Bicycling is one of my passions. And go to Taiwan to strike a business deal and run into some trouble with some information thieves. But also, the leader falls in love with the woman who runs the bicycle company. So those are the kinds of things that I'm doing right now, as well as standing here in the street in Arlington, Massachusetts, having a great time. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Layla Mandel for ACMI, and I'm here with... Connor Casey. Um, and why, who are you here with right now? Uh, so I work for Fidelity House, um, so it's a nonprofit community center just down the road here. Um, I'm the after-school director of our entire after-school program. Oh, very cool. So what are you guys here doing at Town Day? Uh, so we're just trying to, you know, promote Fidelity House, make sure that the community has, uh, you know, a place to go to have fun activities. You know, Town Day is a, a great uh, event for Arlington, and it's uh, awesome that it's back after the COVID break. So we're just trying to provide, you know, a good service for the community. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, how is it being back, like, after all these years? Uh, it's great. You know, it was uh, it was definitely a loss not having it the last couple of years during COVID. So being able to be back, this is one of the more fun events that we do. It's great to be out here and, you know, see the community, see all the different families. And, um, yeah, it's really it's really nice to have it back. Have you been getting a lot of people coming? We have. I think people are trickling in a little bit. I know there's a lot of, like, town sports that are going on in the morning. So I think 
later in the afternoon, a lot more kids will be coming in, but they're starting to starting to make their way in. Right, it's still a bit early. Yeah, a little bit early. Well, thank you so much. I hope you have a good town day. Of course, thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm here with my booth for Morningside Music Studio. We're located right in the Region Theater building, right in Arlington Center. We offer all kinds of services, private lessons for all ages, all instruments. We have ensembles, we have group classes for kids, group piano classes. We have um, some keyboards here set up for kids to try. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, we're just happy to be here. The website is Morningside, MorningsideMusicStudio.com, just like that, and you can find us in the Region Theater building up above the bookstore. Hello, uh, my name is David Keating. I'm with Java Road Cold Brew Coffee, and we're here at uh, Town Day in Arlington. It's a beautiful, beautiful fall day. Uh, our, our company is uh, located actually in Nashua, New Hampshire, but uh, I have uh, roots here in Arlington. I was born and raised in Arlington, and uh, the company started about 10 years ago, and we're a small independent company. Uh, we do a lot of draft uh, coffee in the area. We do nit nitro coffee, which has been very popular. Uh, and uh, one of our best accounts, if not our best account, is the Monotomy Grill, which is uh, right here to our left. They invited us here today uh, to enjoy this day. So, uh, you know, come on down, enjoy yourself, and uh, have a great time. Yes, my name is Gary Menon. I'm from Sterling, Massachusetts, and I'm an advocate for an organization known as RaptorsAreTheSolution.org, which is based out of Berkeley, California. They started this organization because there's been a preponderance of, of raptors, hawks, eagles, and owls, which have, are being killed because of the indiscriminate use of rat poisons. The problem is that people put the rat poisons out in bait boxes. The rat comes and eats the poison, but it doesn't die immediately. It goes out and forages looking for water. It's in a weakened state, so it's easy prey for a red-tailed hawk, a great horned owl, or a bald eagle. The, the uh, raptors are not as tolerant of the poisons as the rats are. Rats can build up an immunity and tolerance to it, but the raptors have only one clutch a year. They build up no tolerance. They don't evolve as quickly as the rodents do, so they die. So we're killing an inordinate number of our valued birds of prey, which are the ultimate you know, control for our rodents because they're at the top of the food chain. So as we eliminate these hawks and owls and eagles, the rats become more prolific. A single rat pair in a year will generate on the order of several hundred, if not a thousand pair of progeny, where the hawks and the owls only generate maybe one or two per year. So we're, we're exterminating our main control for these rodents by using rodent, rodenticides, which cause the rodents, of course, to accumulate the rodenticides. The hawks or owls eat them, and then they subsequently die. So we're losing our control. Then the rats become more and more prolific, and we got an endless cycle. We're effectively attracting rats by using rodenticides. What we need to do, the first thing people need to do is make sure their trash, their garbage, is in rat-proof containers. It is picked up promptly on a regular basis. And, it, and you keep the rat, if there's no food source, for example, for the rats, they won't go there. They're there only for the food. They're not there for any other purpose, not for, you know, sightseeing. I guess they're there, perhaps they're for shelter maybe, but they're primarily there because there's food. If you can eliminate the food source, you will eliminate the rats. That's the main thing. The next thing that you can do is exclude them from your area, keeping them out, blocking them out of the area. Any, en any entryways that you, you have in your property, Block them off, keep them, keep them away, keep them outside. Keep them away from food sources, keep them away from shelters, and you will eliminate your problem. And it's kind of a mission I've had. I've, I've always loved birds of prey ever since I was 10 years old. And I was just fascinated by, by their, their strength, their beauty, and their power. And uh, I've been an advocate for them my entire life. 
kind of in, a, in the background, if you will, like a bird watcher, if you will. But when I, when I uh, found my daughter using rodenticides in her house, I got very alarmed because without knowing anything else, I knew that this was a poison and I was concerned first with my grandchildren that maybe they would get into the poisons. Then I was concerned about their pets. She has a pet black lab. And so I was concerned about them. So I looked it up and I came across this organization called raptorsarethesolution.org and I became a very strong advocate for them because they're the, the only standalone organization which promotes alternatives to rodenticides and works very hard to get these eliminated from our environment and thereby saving hawks, owls, and eagles. Okay? And other animals as well, like foxes, coyotes, raccoons, everything that's in the food chain. You know, every, almost any animal in the food chain is subject to the, rap, the, to the ravages of these rat poisons. Hi, I'm Ginger. I'm from Arlington Friends of the Drama, and I am the publicity director there, but we have a whole group of people who are wonderful volunteers. We are Arlington's um, oldest community theater. We're actually one of the oldest community theaters in the entire country, and we are celebrating our 100th anniversary this year. So we're very excited. Uh, we have four wonderful shows that are going on. Uh, the first one is Iolanthe, which is going on right now. It's a Gilbert and Sullivan operetta. It's so much fun. We have great costumes and fantastic voices. Um, and then we're doing three more shows. We're doing Light Up the Sky, which goes up in December. We're doing Dan Dancing at Lunasa, which is an Irish show um, that goes up in March. And then we are, um, are closing out our 100th season with Nonsense, which is a musical comedy. Uh, so we've got a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, it's great to just come down if you enjoy theater and see the shows, but we also have a whole group of people who work behind the scenes because we are a 100% volunteer organization. So we have everybody who runs the lights, the sound, builds the sets, does the costumes, even all the actors are volunteers. And so we need a whole army of people to keep the show, the theater going. Um, and we've always been very lucky to have some really great volunteers. So we have opportunities for volunteering, um, as well as people who want to come down and audition for our shows. And of course, if you enjoy theater, you can just come down and see the shows. Um, we also, um, today, we're selling some of our own costumes from the costume shop. Um, if people have been coming down and buying things for their Halloween costumes or just to wear. Um, so we've been having a fantastic time today, just talking to people about our theater. Uh, we're representing and working with Mass General Hospital for esophageal cancer research. This is a fund that I set up for my husband who passed away from esophageal cancer after only 15 months of after diagnosis. And he, he, we found out that this is one of the most lethal, fastest growing in the United States, and least researched cancers. I was going to say, this esophageal cancer, you don't hear as much as like lung cancer or any other, other type of cancer. You've got to get the word out. Exactly. We, I have to say we haven't been great about marketing, but we're helping, hoping to really raise, raise awareness because it's one of the fastest growing in the United States. Most cancers in the U.S. are declining. Esophageal cancer is increasing. And uh, the, average, the mean survival is 10 to 15 months. So it's a very deadly cancer. And it's something that a little money, a little donation, small amount of an increase in research will make a big impact. What are some of the people just stopping by and visiting you? What are they asking? What questions are they asking? Most of the people who stop by actually have someone in their family who has cancer of some kind. Sometimes they don't know about esophageal, and I have to explain, most lethal, one of the most lethal, one of the least researched, fastest growing. But I think most people realize that this is an area that really needs research. So people have been extremely generous and I've been thrilled. I mean, it's been wonderful meeting people, and they're they're so generous. So and we're so sorry to hear about the loss of your husband, but I, I know Stuart would probably be very happy to see you working on behalf of other people who may be suffering from this and feel as though they have nowhere to turn. Exactly. Stuart was an acupuncturist and a healer all his life, so he would he supports everything that 
really helps people get better and research is crucial. It's what we need to do. If we want to beat cancer, that's how we're going to beat it. Well, Janice, thanks so much for stopping us. It's, it's great to talk to you and good luck, okay? Thank you. You take care now. Bye-bye. first time as well so oh wow um, so we're looking forward to it and I used to come to town day as a kid and uh, hopefully we can put out some good food for uh, the folks of Arlington awesome uh, where are you located when you're not here we're at uh, 1314 Mass Ave right by the intersection of Park Ave and Mass Ave we're doing some cheeseburgers sausage pepper and onion and hot dogs uh, can I get a hot dog yeah definitely. Awesome, thank you, sir. Yeah, hi, I'm John Harrison, and um, I've been here with Kim at uh, Town Day many times through the years, one of our favorite events of the year, and it's good to be back. It's good to have it happening again. And the weather is perfect today. We couldn't be happier about being here again. Well, we have our books, our children's books. This is the True Wildlife Adventure Series, all true stories about local wildlife events. And we've got greeting cards here, many of the ones that are in the book. And we are very happy to be back here. It feels great. This is a showcase really of a lot of urban wildlife and animals that live right here in this city that people might not even know about. Of course, we all know about raccoons. These were from Mount Auburn Cemetery. So a lot of the photographs are from the cemetery and surrounding areas. We even have bald eagles, peregrine falcons, coyotes, and we're right here in the city. Awesome. Yeah, all of the places that, that we photograph are all relatively close. Uh, so it's very easy for us. This is a great area if you're interested in wildlife. There are many places and they're all close and they're all easy, accessible, and there are really great animals and birds to be found at these places. So we're, we're really lucky to live around here in this pursuit. Our first book was about a little owl that was named Skylar and it had fallen out of the tree at Fresh Pond. And usually these types of stories have sad endings, but this did not have a sad ending, even with the human intervention. And so here's an owlet that fell out of the nest and recovered and got back into the nest until it successfully fledged. And we've got snowy owls and coyotes at Mount Auburn Cemetery. And our latest two books are the Eagles at yeah. the Mystic Lakes. Arlington celebrities, these Arlington two. Cemetery and celebrities. So these are this true story about the resident eagles. Yeah, and they've been hanging around at the Mystic Lakes, the two young ones, morning after morning, and they put on a show for us almost every morning, flying together, playing together, being kids. It's been a wonderful experience to watch them in action. On Facebook, it's Dead in Good Company, all one word. And we're in several bookstores ar around here. Uh, book Ends in Winchester, the Book Rack in Arlington, several of the um, Audubon, Mass Audubon shops, even a couple in, in New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. Yep. So we're in quite a few places, but, and of course online, Amazon, they're all available. So if you want our books, there are many places to, to get them. Now, our, our next uh, guest performer today is inspirational. It's Rob Surrett. Now, get this. Rob works for Disney, DC Comics, DreamWorks, Lucasfilm, and Marvel. He's been on the Today Show. He's been on the Tonight Show, Good Morning America, and the Oprah Winfrey Show. And get this, folks, he's from Arlington, Massachusetts. How about it? Now, we're, we're glad that Rob came here for this amazing town day. 
And we want you to be on the lookout for a special uh, ACMI segment. It's called Rob Comes Home. That'll be on television, on cable. And he'll tell the people of Arlington how they helped him to get where he is today. So you're going to see some fantastic art here on stage while he gets ready. So as we watch him prep to do this, we hope you stick with us. Center stage here at Arlington Town Day 2022. And welcome back to our live coverage of Town Day 2022 in downtown Arlington. I'm here with my colleague, Paul Worland, who anchors the news many, many times for ACMI News when we tape our newscast on Thursdays. It is a gorgeous day for Town Day, first Town Day, obviously, in three years because of the ongoing pandemic. And you can just tell the, the, the entire crowd here is jubilant. We have thousands of people uh, walking, uh, Mass Ave, just taking in everything from uh, town causes to ACMI. We have a booth. Come by and say hi. We have a lot of food, uh, donuts, uh, cupcakes, pizza, and it's all non-fat from what I hear, Paul. It's all non-fat just today, so take advantage of it. But I'm telling you, this is a, it's a beautiful day for uh, town day, and it's just good to be back here. Jeff, I noticed how you uh, mentioned all the healthy food. <laughs> Yeah, have, exactly. There's an array of food choices here, folks. If you want to eat something more healthy, we've got, we've got that down here as well. But that tells you where Jeff's tastes lie as go. far as food is concerned. But anyway, we're, we are, Jeff is right. We're so excited to be here after, after a long hiatus of three years. Um, we are on Mass Ave. It's between Jason Street and, I'm sorry, between uh, Pleasant Street and, yeah, Jason Street and Pleasant Street. Um, We've got so many things going on here, and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. We're looking at the temperature here on the clock over here. It's 63 glorious degrees. Yes, it is. Hardly beautiful. any clouds in the sky. Um, I'd like to take a moment to, we have a lot of people to thank that put this thing together today. Two of our main sponsors that we'd really like to thank are the Cambridge Savings Bank and Leader Bank. They are, have been so generous in supporting us, the town day, to help put this thing together. And as Jeff said, come on down and enjoy everything there is to do about town day here but come on down and also visit us here at the acmi booth we have uh, a booth here uh, talking all about acmi we're a completely volunteer run organization and mm -hmm. it's anything you can do or want to do as far as tv production is concerned but there's so much to enjoy here we have crafts we have food we have uh non-fat in, yeah, yes <laughs> informational booths about uh so recycling and so forth so services so come on down all right, we just heard from uh, Lynn and Jen's dance studio real quick. Uh, great maneuvers. I do it every morning before I come to work. And coming up is a speed portrait by artist Rob Surrett. Uh, we have thousands of people now lining uh, Mass Ave. And, again, if you can't make it down, we're certainly glad you could be with us. If you can make it down, uh, you're going to have a great time. And there's so much to do here at Town Day. And we really appreciate it if you stop by here at ACMI. Uh, we have our booth set up, and we'll answer any questions you may have. And, you know, Paul, I, I worked in commercial TV for years. And what is so amazing about ACMI, uh, being in Arlington, we do hyper-local news coverage, obviously. But the equipment, and I'm just talking about the equipment, the cameras, the studio, the set, uh, everything. A lot of that equipment is way better than what I used to work with with the big commercial uh, TVs uh, station. So if you want to come down here, you are going to be working not only with a first-class uh, crew, and very patient people, wonderful people at ACMI, you're also going to be working with the best of equipment. So we certainly hope to see you here. Uh, if you can't make it, we understand. We're so glad you could be with us. We're really happy to be here. Again, I can't stress that enough. I mean, the pandemic has been tough on everybody. And one of the things that I was, I was always disappointed about is that town day didn't happen. So mm. 2019 was the last time we were here. We're so happy to be back here again. Um, there's a lot to do here. Um, as Jeff said, I mean, I started coming back. I started coming to ACMI 10 years ago. I basically just walked in the door, Jeff. I walked in the door That's and something said, else. hey, I'd like to do something here. Do you have anything I can do? And they put me right to work. And the main thing I can tell you about ACMI is anytime I wanted to do anything, they said yes. There was never a no. No, yeah. It was always, okay, yes, and here's how we can help you do it. So if you're interested in anything to do with TV production, whether it be in front of the camera or behind the camera, we can help you do that for... Nothing for free. We'll teach you for free. So anyway, um, 
we have a lot of people walking uh, down here. I, I, how many? I have no idea how many tents there are. Uh, dozens and dozens, if not uh, more than a hundred, but a lot of people here. Uh, everybody is just uh, having a good time. I see a lot of people glad handing folks. I took a walk down uh, to Mystic, and um, just everything is down there. They have they have a lot of <laughs> they have a lot of food down there, as we mentioned. Uh, speaking of food, incidentally, uh, Paul, food donations uh, for this event. Uh, this this event can't happen without fuel, folks. And we want to give some thanks to Whole Foods, uh, Trader Joe's. Food Link, of course, Arlington House of Pizza, and a specific thank you, a special thank you to Michael Amarnius, uh, Michael Amarnius, uh, who is an ACMI member who helped with coordinating all these uh, food donations. And a lot of people here, uh, they've been here since like four, five yeah. in the morning, uh, setting things up, and uh, it's just wonderful to be basically assisted by the kindness of people when it comes to you know just water. We have a zero waste Arlington here. Yep. Uh, just uh, BYO, uh, you just bring your own bottle and they'll fill your water up, Arlington Water. Uh, they're undergoing a campaign, but there's so much to see here. And, again, we've been repeating it, but it bears repeating, Paul. Man, it's been three years. It's been three years. Too long. Yep. And uh, we gotta th- we got to thank Duncan, too, because Duncan's helping us to, uh, to keep awake. So, <laughs> thanks. thanks. All right, we're going to throw it back to the main stage now. You're soon going to see Rob Surrett. Uh, in a an event called Amazing Hero Art, and we're looking forward to seeing what he has to produce. So we're going to send it back to the main stage. Stay with us for more coverage of Town Day 2022.
Welcome back to our coverage of Town Day 2022 here at uh, downtown Arlington. Just a gorgeous day. We're here at Academy and Mass Avenue, and a lot of people have come by, including the gentleman to my left, Gordon Bernstein, or Stein, so I'm sorry. Um, we have a very special award to give to you, sir, uh, for, for great work. It is a hometown media award. You are the winner of the hometown media award, which is a nationwide award, not statewide, nationwide. And for a program, which we want to talk about uh, for a few seconds, called A Brave Nose World, which I love. Very creative title. Aldous Huxley uh, reference here. Uh, for mixed and transmedia uh, independent producing in this program. Uh, and again, it's presented by the Alliance for Community Media for all access TV stations from here in Arlington all the way to California. So congratulations, Gordon. Appreciate oh, it. This you. is yours. Find a nice spot in your wall for it. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the program. What uh, is a Brave Nose World about? Uh, it, it's a, uh, an animation, and it's uh, about uh, the end of the world, which is uh, <laughs> al always a rich subject. That's a, that's a pick me up. That's that's good. <laughs> is there a good ending? Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, and um, this was um, nicely uh, done concurrently with a. a all the laurels that were heaped on the news department too so it's a yeah. party for everyone <laughs> so there's a little tongue-in-cheek humor in this i i take it well I, yeah well i mean the uh, uh news department at acmy was awarded their uh laurels at the same time that this was uh given to me uh which was nice is uh Anything that's good should naturally be shared. Well, it's uh, it's just it's a pleasure to have you at ACMI, and uh, congratulations with the Hometown Media Award again, the Nationwide Award. Gordon, thanks so much for joining us. Right. We are going to send it back to the main stage now in front of Town Hall. We'll be right back. And now.
could be a more perfect day. Do we agree? Welcome to Arlington Town Day. I grew up in Arlington for 27 years. This was my home. Do you still have that road race down Mass Ave on Patriots Day? I want to be a part of that again because I remember starting at the town line, ending at the boys club. I remember, does anyone remember the old Dallin Library? My mom used to walk me in my stroller down Park Ave to the Dallin Library, which of course now is ACTV. I'm dying to go back. I guess we're gonna do a segment in the next week where they're gonna bring me back. I remember the five and 10 with Joe Balick. Is sports, etc. still in business in the Heights? Do you all remember Margie and Vinny, the owners? My favorites, they were like family. I worked at D'Agostino's just last week. Last week, Sam, the owner, says to my dad, how's Rob? Tell him I said hi. This is back in like 1985 that I worked there, and he still remembers how I messed up. I mean, how I worked very hard. I love the Arlington Library. I love the Rotunda. I used to love Nicola's Pizza up in the Heights, where after school, that's where, that was our go-to place. I learned to swim at the Boys Club. Betsy Daniels at the front desk with her three kids, Rich, Wayne, and Amy. They were like family. How about Arlington soccer back in 1978? Arlington started their first soccer program run by Clay McShane and his son Kevin and Scott and Brian Bullock's dad. We started practicing out in front of the skating rink, which reminds me my favorite coaches for Arlington hockey, Dave Moran, Jim Moran, Jim Hunt, and Kurt Morgan. They changed my lives. Kevin McShane was my favorite soccer coach. These coaches were just volunteers and they believed in us and they brought us from being down here to up here. Changed my whole life. So now I travel all over the world with this inspirational show. I have so much to be grateful for because Arlington helped me in those years become who I am today. All those caring people, I hope that Arlington is the same for you. This is why I'm back here today, is to celebrate and to be grateful. Thank you so much for being here. Let's do a little more. This next segment is my expression of compassion and empathy. Have you ever felt like Nobody was there Have you ever felt forgotten In the middle of nowhere 
Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? Well, let that lonely feeling wash away. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay. Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand, you can reach, reach out your hand. And oh, someone will come running. And I know they'll take you home. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, and when you're broken on the ground, you will be found. So let the sun come streaming in, 'cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again. Lift your head and look around. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Hey, thank you so much. No problem, man. And don't ever forget us. I will no. never forget you guys. Push the push. And oftentimes, it happens. You just you feel like you're alone, and you feel like it's only you when you're in your bubble. And and I wish I had someone at that time.
I've been to over 4,000 schools, including all of them in Arlington many times. And I love telling kids, your brain is limitless. Your imagination is limitless. So therefore, why not push you? Why not push yourself as much as you can and be all you can be? So again, <clears throat> Einstein's one of my heroes. I've got a lot more coming up because I'm taking you around the world in just 25 minutes, and I want to be grateful again to Arlington. I remember I opened up my first um, retirement account right there when I was 21. And there was the t we used to call it the TV bank right here. We could see the teller on the TV. Do they still have that? How about the new high school? When I was in seventh grade, there was a high school teacher at Arlington High named Mr. Kearns who offered a computer class in 1984. So from seventh grade, we went across with two of my friends and we learned basic programming language. I am so grateful because if they could only see me now today. And it's the same thing with all you kids that I see here. I believe in you. Your teachers believe in you here in Arlington. Your coaches believe in you. And your parents and your families believe in you. So I hope this offers a little bit of inspiration. Again, most perfect day. Thank you for being here. I'm now going to begin my grand finale. Thank you so much. Thank you to Arlington. I can't believe I'm back. Amazing. Those who fly alone have the strongest wings. Those who walk alone have the strongest direction. The rest will always be in need of others for their survival. They will always need attention, need recognition to survive. I am at peace alone, needing no attention, no recognition, and still I thrive. I'm not saying those who have support are weak. I'm not saying you must go at it alone to gain strength. This is just for those who have fought battles alone. Those who have felt like they don't fit in. Those who have never had support in anything they do. All of those who feel no one believes in them. You don't need them to believe in you if you believe in you. You don't need their support if you've got your own back. The best part is when you truly live the life you want to live, when you speak your truth, when you embrace who you are, then you gain real respect and real love. People love those who have the guts to be themselves, those who have the courage to follow their heart. Why? It's rare. Why? Because most people wish they could do the same. Show them the way. Keep going. Believe in yourself. It will all come good in the end. And when it does, you won't have only inspired yourself to be more. You will have inspired so many others. I had to learn to fight alone. And because of that, I am strong alone. I am strong. Full stop. I developed inner strength that can't be broken. I am unbreakable. Because of the pain, I am strong. Because of the struggle, I have character most will never know. I appreciate others more than ever. I have more compassion than ever. I had to go deep into the darkness. Now I have more depth. Now I can see clearer. I had to face huge internal challenges. Now I can defeat any challenge. I will destroy every challenge. I am proud of who I have become. I am proud I have overcome. I am proud I kept going. I am proud of who I am, who I have become. I am proud I stay true to myself because now I can live as myself with respect from others and most importantly, pride and respect from myself. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all 
the thought children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. That's waiting up for me That I call my own Through the dark, through the door Through where no one's been before But it feels like home They can say, they can say It all sounds crazy Say they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy. We can live in a world that we design. Cause every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are key. world's famous heroes, but once again, I want to be grateful 
to all the heroes who maybe went unsung from Arlington. Maybe the ones who didn't stand out in the spotlight. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful to all you people. I'm grateful to this town. My family's right over here. Thank you. Have a great rest of the day. Arlington Town Day. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you at Robin's Farm sledding in the winter. Thank you for joining us today for this amazing... And folks, we're back live here at Town Day Arlington 2022, right here on Mass Ave. Gorgeous day today here out here on Mass Ave. We are so happy to be here after three years. Oh, man. I mean, it's and amazing. It's, and there, there's hardly any wind. The sun is out. The sky is blue. It's beautiful, and so are you, Paul. That's, oh, my. <laughs> oh that's, that's, that's Dear Prudence. Sorry. Yeah. A white album reference. It is 68 degrees out here, so it's not so hot. It's just really, really comfortable. And we want to thank, uh, for putting on Town Day, our platinum sponsor, Cambridge Savings Bank, yep. our gold sponsor, Leader Bank. Now, this is the pamphlet that uh, has been handed out for uh, Town Day 2022. And what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It is 11.41. So at 12, in just a few minutes, you'll be hearing from the Arlington High School Jazz Band, Madrigal Singers, uh, the Beer Garden at the Jason Russell House, just a block away. A very historic house. If you've never been in there, uh, we did a story, I guess, about six months ago. They recently just found musket ball holes in the wall that they didn't know were there yep. after 250 years. That's right. And um, th there's a lot of history in Arlington. If I may say so, a little bit more than Lexington conquered when it comes to the, the violence that took place right here. Uh, as the British were uh, retreating from Lexington Concord and going back to Boston, they came through here, and man, it was a mess. It was a mess, Paul. They got a they got they got a dose of good old New England welcoming. Yeah, they did. Yes. Um, so we are uh, one thing we want to mention too. Bob Surratt, who is a uh, speed portrait artist, he just did a beautiful, huge portrait of Albert Einstein on the main stage. So he's got his work shown there. You can go over there and take a look at that. Um, as Jeff said, we ha we have, who do we have coming up? The Arlington uh, well, High School Band, Yeah, right? we have the, uh, the jazz band, the, the AHS jazz band. Jazz band. And right. We also have the Squeak Easy Jug Band at the Town Garden at 1230 <laughs> between the Robbins Library and Town Hall. So a lot of things going on. You know, the, the, the Albert Einstein porch that we saw, it was like five feet by five feet. It oh. appeared to be that way. And Rob Surrett was using a wide brush. Uh, he did, as you said, Albert Einstein, but he was doing it to very inspirational quotes and music, one of which was uh, a little bit of Martin Luther King's speech that he made in front of the Lincoln Memorial in 1963 in Washington, D.C., which obviously is, is major history. And yeah. it's just very uplifting and inspirational. And everyone here, especially after what you've been saying, Paul, three years. It's been a three-year hiatus. Right. Everybody's back, and there's just a feeling of jubilance as you're walking along. Uh, Mass Ave here, and stopping at any one of the 200 booths that are here. Is it 200? I know you didn't. We didn't know exactly how many. Did you go walk around and count? I was. Yeah, I was comfortable were, by were saying counting? more than 100. And boy, was I right. <laughs> it is 200, <laughs> and I'm telling you, everyone uh, wants to just talk and say hi and how you been since 2019. Yeah. My gosh, and we're already planning for Town Day 2023, but we still have a lot to go here. At, Town Day 2022. We do. It's until uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. You know, Jeff mentioned the weather. I think the word bucolic comes to mind. Yeah, without bucolic. a doubt. Bucolic. Yes. You don't get to use that it word. It sounds like often. a medicine. No, you did a good job there. Sounds like a medicine, <laughs> but it is very bucolic here. Well, and actually, it is medicine for the soul. It is, and, yeah. a, lot, and a lot of fun to, to, be, uh, to be had down here as well. So, And it's almost lunchtime. Guess what? Lots of food items to be down, to be consumed here. We've got Thai food, Mexican food, chili homemade pie pizza oh, fried pie. dough and as jeff mentioned there's a beer garden which i think i might head to after this the fried dough the the uh, the beer garden we have the pizza and as i said before truly i'm not lying here it's all non-fat all day today so so you know engorge yourself with really good fare right here along mass Ave. and gorge yes and gorge and along the bucolic walkway here. yes 
Okay, we are, we're going to hear the Arlington High School Jazz Band right now, which we're really looking forward to, and uh, the Jug Band, which I haven't heard the Jug Band in years, but I know what they sound like, so yeah, come on good. down, join us. It's so many people here, so much fun, and we hope to see you here.